Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest back again. We do. It's me, Mr. X. Mr. X. Welcome back, my man. Hey, you've been sleeping on the couch for a few days. I have been. It's getting a little ripe in here, though. I'll probably just hit the shower again or something. <laughs> no, I don't know. After that last fiasco. After you're running out with the towel. I stuff. know. I know. I thought. I, but hey, I thought. I thought you were into it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure. What are we talking about today, Jonas? Come on. I don't Bring know. What are we talking about? All right. So uh, we were. We were. Uh, we have spoken in the past. Yes. About diversity, equity, and inclusion. DEI. The DEI are we are we doing a redo? Topic. Somebody in the comment section on the DEI episode. I don't remember what episode it is, Joan. If you want to look that up, uh, I'll look it up can, right now. And see I what appreciate number it that. Is. Yeah. Um, but they said is that Mr. X may have more information on that. So I don't know who this individual was. But they I'll seem to think it that it, it, it wasn't me. I can tell you that much. I thought it was. Yeah, I, I was. I've already been accused once of that. I was but, like, no, I wasn't it coming. Is episode seven fifty two, and the and the user we were looking for is Blake Brune seventy five zero two. Shout out, Blake. So I don't remember my exact take, but I always know is that I am a consistent human being. So even when I listen to my stuff when I'm editing it or our our, our content when I edit it, I'm like, oh, I'll probably say this here. I'm going to say the same thing regardless. So I need to know what, what, what is, what is the take on well, it? Well, let me, let me tell you what okay. Blake said. Cause he, okay. think, he said that he thinks Mr. X would agree. Okay. Oh, okay. He said, okay. guys, DEI hires slash promote slash advances people based on purely how they look rather than if slash how well they are or aren't actually qualified for a given position. I suspect that Mr. X might agree. All right. So let's say it's not. I'm not sure how to take that. But let's, okay. let's, let's change that up because the verbiage is all wrong there. I hate to I hate to be this guy, but it's on race. Right. Race or look race and orientation. We can say that race is a look. But we can also say is that it, it's something else. It's something deeper than that because I feel like a lot of people take it as something deeper than that. Okay. But well, let's let's continue on. All right. So, so I I I I would say I partially agree with what he said because okay I do, I do, like because all right so I mean DEI on some level is probably just it's kind of a redo of affirmative action right and, exactly. And, and exactly and now affirmative action was very much a African American focused mm -hmm. thing right mm -hmm. dei is much wider right dei is saying we just need to be diverse of all things oh, so okay. so like to me in the equity the inclusion like it, you gotta you know there's three parts and people kind of just take it as one thing but you know i think de the new dei initiatives are much more about uh diversity of a lot of different things and and, okay. and so on some levels i like like i appreciate diversity of thought Right. Ooh, Diverse, like to me, that. diversity of thought is important. Like, so we come from, we have to, you have a different perspective. That's a, that's great for any organization. From an organization perspective, I think that's important. You okay. know, diversity by just saying you're, you look different than me is, is that, will that bring mm. diversity of thought? Maybe, maybe not. Mm. But I don't think it, I don't think it's, that's as important. So you're saying is that it's important to have ideals and input ideas, from different yeah. communities, yeah. different races, different orientations sure. in order to appeal to those people. I think it's important to to a, to a degree, yes. And I think it, and it kind of and it, but I think on the other on the the other side of the corner I I would argue that it that it's that there's other places where like, you know what? Maybe we don't need diversity here. Maybe we need, you know, let's look at the let's look at air, airline pilots. Oh, yeah. I don't care what you look like. I don't care who you're diddling at night. Mm. I don't care. I want to know that you've been flying planes for a long time and can get me out of some shit if this something goes wrong up here. Mm. Like, like to me, that's important, right? And so, because there's been a lot of pushback on airlines because they've had these DEI uh, yeah. initiatives in their pilot groups, right? It's yeah, like yeah, we yeah. need to hire more blank pilots, whatever, fill in the blank, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like. <laughs> I don't really care about that. Like, I don't really want. I want the best pilot. I mean, Film the Blake with best is is what I is what I, I mean. Would if like. it's a panda bear, if it's a panda bear, but it's a damn good pilot, then okay. All right, give me a, give me a rebuttal on that. Give me a rebuttal. Let me get a rebuttal on that one. I only say is because when you have a long standing 
certain subset of groups, whether that be a race, an orientation, whether it be a religion that have a, for lack of a better term, a monopoly on a certain industry, it makes it hard for people with similar skill to be accepted into that because when 90% of the gene pool is one thing and then a person wants to enter with similar credentials or even superior credentials, Caitlin Clark, it makes it difficult for their entry into that field. Okay. What do you, what do you say to that? I don't, I don't, I don't think I disagree with anything you just said. I don't, okay. <laughs> so my whole point is that DEI only incentivizes that they have to take a serious look at the individuals who don't necessarily meet the racial or, or I'm, I'm all for that religious the, criteria. So my rebuttal back is, I think that's, that is correct. And they should do that. Okay. The problem, the problem I see is you see these companies that are over that they're like, oh, we need to overcompensate for for something, okay. right? It's like we need to hire only this type of people. And the example I will give is okay. and without without getting too specific is I, I I mentioned to you guys off off the air here that I I work on a I work with a nonprofit, and that nonprofit yeah. is very is very progressive and DEI focused. Okay. Okay. And, and, but the, the interesting thing about it is that as a DEI group, it's like, we're making, we're making this, they're the, the staff that we have hired, we, they have hired is, is already extremely diverse. So diverse. In fact, that there are no white men <laughs> on like in the organization period. Oh, really? Not on the staff. Okay. Okay. There okay. there's. Or if there is, there's something else about them that makes them quote, quote, diverse in that like sexual orientation wise. Okay. Right. So and let's, so this fair. is a, so let's, I'll, 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 I'll change my sense that there's no straight white men okay. on the, on the, so I just, mean, but you're on it. Oh, I'm not on the staff though. Oh, okay. uh, like, I'm okay, talking about okay, just, okay. I'm talking about the staff, which oh, is, wow. which is what all these things are driven by. Like all of these things are driven okay. towards staff, right? Okay. Staffing is not okay. the board is, is of some importance and the board is getting more diverse because yeah. they're, they're trying yeah, 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 yeah. to, but the staff is 100% that, that, that's, that's the staff. So I would argue like, okay, let's just look at straight demographics. Mm. How, as a percentage of, if you have. 20 people on your staff yeah and you are mirroring the united states because mm. you're in the united states wow how, how many of those staff should be white males per capita yeah it's some, very funny because i was going to float a total i was going to float i didn't even believe in it but you you totally just you debunked it right there <laughs> i was going to say well how many companies in america are composed of purely straight white males and then you just debunked it by saying per capita in america there should be a percentage of straight white males in everything and you're not even wrong you're yeah. not even wrong yeah you're not even wrong and, and and here's the thing i'm actually not, you're not I, wrong. it doesn't bother me that, that the group i'm talking about no. it does it really it doesn't shouldn't. It shouldn't. i don't care i really don't but i know that but when you're floating out that you, that this diversity equity inclusion is so important to you and mm. we're making it one of our primary you know go i'm like okay if we're going to say that then really you it's not that you want to be diverse you want to be diverse in the way you define diversity okay. and you're being you're the way you're defining diversity is one way mm -hmm. it's not demographic diversity no right no because if it was then it wouldn't look like this and again it doesn't bother me the way it looks i don't want to get i don't want that to be the the takeaway no here. that's not i don't the, i don't take yeah. that as your focus because i know you personally and i have to yeah say but someone curious. listening doesn't know me for crap right? so i want them to know that that that's not my focus i'm gonna vouch for him he's a moderate he's welcome to the cookout yeah he does i don't give a shit. but but when you start talking when you start making it the focus of your organization well we're going to be do these dei things or whatever mm -hmm. You know, okay, okay fine, so, but, but all right. Give yeah. me, give me a little rebuttal. Go ahead, go ahead, right. go ahead. Yeah. So my thing is, is hi guys. That, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hey Jonas. <laughs> hey Jonas. <laughs> you Jonas say, just joined in, us. Please. Hi, I, I'm just here. I'm chime just, in. Yeah. Go ahead. No, all right, I'm, I'm just saying hi. Jonas all right. Is, um. So Jonas is on Tinder right now. I only have to say is that 
when it comes down to revolution, I've made the statement a hundred times on this podcast, and I'm going to stick to it because this is what I truly believe. I believe that revolution in itself is pure. It's always a pure take. It's always meant to help people who are impoverished, who are uh, held back, who are uh, discounted necessarily you know like the people like these people have been made fun of we've been ridiculed they've been uh held out of certain positions for a very long time and the idea of making these people a more prominent aspect of american culture is not a bad thing nope because to think that the alternative of ridiculing these people to the point where they kill themselves no. or ridiculing these people to the point where echo chambers decide to go into their communities and kill them, that is not acceptable. No. So we need to have some degree of tolerance programming in this country where we are like, these people are okay and I don't have to act like an asshole if a gay person is ringing up my groceries or if a black person is going to shake my daughter's hand at graduation. We need to get to that point. So I stick to the point that DEI in itself is a pure and righteous idea, but companies do fuck it up. Much like companies fuck up everything. Let me ask y'all a question. <clears throat> so Mr. X touched on this a little bit. Like you said, like the whole staff is diverse. Um, there's not even like a, a, a cis white male on the on the thing, right? I say he's on the staff. Okay. He's there. Regardless. You're there. So, <clears throat> so at what point is it is the diversity more important than the skill set? Because at some point companies by saying I have to hire X type of person. Is there someone that, and I'm not saying cis white dudes, like what if like the, the, the best people, there's 12 black dudes, they're the best 12 guys for the job, but because of diversity, they're like, we need to hire an Asian person or a Mexican guy or a white guy. So the, NF the NFL is over, guy over the white guy. We're talking about the NFL. Is that we're so then, let's keep it going. So, I like so, this. So I like then, this line of talk. So, I like so this then, line of talk because so I'm then already ready for the, it. The 12 guys are the best people for the job. Yes. But then they hire a Mexican dude or a white dude or whatever, because they have to have enough DEI. Is that more important than the company having the best people for the job? Uh, three guys are applying for the job. One Asian, one black, one white who gets the job. They all have equal. <laughs> fucking whatever. Is the answer, which one we have the least of. Mm. Well, that, okay, fine. It, it, like, so if you're DEI and, you, and, and that's your, and that's the lens. So, so you, you got three guys applying, there are these three things, mm -hmm. then it's going to go to the DEI, can, the, the diverse quote, quote candidate. Again, mm -hmm. it, def, uh, it, 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 it depends on how you define diversity because what is diverse to you and what is diverse to the company is diverse mean you have to be, you have to be gay or you have to be, you have to be black and mm -hmm. be Hispanic. Mm -hmm. You have to be, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to go to that candidate. Right. And that, and I'm fine with that. If you, cause if you need a tiebreaker, a tiebreaker, you know, that hey, I, I want, I want to throw like, something out. If you just too. told me, you just told me they're all identical. That's yeah, that, this yeah, was your, your yeah, thing. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, okay, I need a tiebreaker. Cause I only got one job and three, three perfectly qualified candidates that I'm assuming want the same amount of money. Because that's usually what the tiebreaker is. It's like, well, which one can I pay the le least? That's yeah. that's the way they usually go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. So it's like, okay, then fine. Let this be the tiebreaker. But, but I have another piece of diversity that gets lost a lot. What's up? Age. <laughs> no, Look, old people. Need you to be laughed put down. about it. <laughs> old people need to be put down. Um, but that's just as important as culture. Sexual orientation. No, you're, you're well. A, age you're is wrong. age should be experience, right? So I'm obviously joking. I know, I know. your, your experience you're level. Wrong. Now, granted, there's a point where <coughs> president <coughs> that people probably age out. Oh, you mean both of them? It, Which both one? <laughs> I'm not being specific. Turns out. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not being specific. Fair enough. But uh, but yeah, I think age age can be diversity. But like in DEI, the other thing you're leaving the people. Everyone focuses on the D as they should no but on the d but not the, the e and the i, I it's yeah. about equity and about inclusion right yeah, so those yeah. are the other those are the other yeah, things yeah. and equity is a very interesting concept because it's different than equality very different very it's different. we need to give everybody the same everyone needs it, it 
I, I, and I don't even know that I, that it's well defined anywhere. He, here's the best way I've saw equity described. It the was people the, at the, the fence, the, the fence. Yeah. The fence. So the, the people exactly. at the fence is like, you got three different height people standing at a fence. You give one guy, two boxes, one guy, one box and, and one guy, no box. And they're all at the same height. And that's, that's considered that's equity, equity. where if equality is giving them all one box and then the mm-hmm. short guy still can't see over the fence and the tall guys like way the hell, up way there. the hell over the fence. I will say is that because that is because in the current America, equality is not a realistic ideal um to say is that racism or anti-gay uh sentiment or anti-jewish sentiment or anti-asian sentiment is not a realistic thing in this country real equality can never exist so you obviously need something to buffer that you, have you the level, might not you have be the racist. level the playing field. You might not be racist. You might not be sexist. You might not care that a woman is on the staff, but there are people that do care. Oh, absolutely. So you need something in place to circumvent that prejudice. I am guilty. You are guilty as well. So there needs to be something in place. So, but does that need to be the ruling factor? I don't think it needs to be a ruling factor, but I think it does need to be a law to essentially to we need to push this country and the people and their belief structure in a certain way. There's going to be resistance when you push it anyway. But if we're going to be accepting of these people, then yes, you should make it a law that if you're racist at your job, you lose your fucking job. Because we don't need necessarily people being racist at their job, keeping their job because that's a positive feedback loop. We need negative feed. You do something stupid, you immediate instruction. I hit you on the news. I hit you on the nose with a newspaper. That has to be a part of this culture in order to facilitate a future that is accepting of these individuals. Because if you're not accepting, it only goes in one direction or the other. You're either accepting, or we're killing these people in their communities. That's that's the end. That's the end goal. Because that's, people take shit to the extreme. And that's also the end of the episode. So that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Oh, uh, we out.